Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is your brother Musab ibn Umayyad recording for the Prophet Spot channel. Insha'Allah, today we are going to discuss the wisdom and benefits behind fasting. The objective behind fasting is to keep the soul from desires and to prevent it from those things which are beloved to it. And its purpose is to control the soul's strength so that it can be prepared to attain what is found in the fast from success and joy for the soul. Through the fast, one holds his hunger and thirst and is reminded of the condition of the hungry stomachs of needy people. Through fasting, one narrows the passages the devil has inside the servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by narrowing the passage of food and drink. Also it prevents the forces of the limbs from getting too accustomed to things that are harmful to it in this world and the hereafter. And each of the soul's body limbs and energies can seize their rebelliousness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and be harnessed by its burden. So therefore, the fast is the bridle of those who fear and obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the shield of those which war against desire. And it is a garden for the righteous and devoted servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it is for the Lord of the worlds over all other actions done to please Him. This is since the person who fasts in fact does nothing. He only abandons his desire and his food for the sake of the one whom he worships. So fasting is an abandonment of those things that the soul loves and desires, preferring instead Allah's love and containment. And it is a secret kept between servant and his Lord. No one else is aware of it. Fasting has an amazing effect in preserving one's outer limbs and inner capacities, as well as protecting the soul from being overtaken by destructive components, which can ruin and destroy it. And it has a remarkable effect in causing all the harmful things that prevent the soul from being healthy to be emptied out. So fasting guards and protects the health of the person, heart and body limbs. And it returns the soul all that the hands of the desire has taken from it. So it is from the greatest way to improve one's taqwa. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, Ya ayyuhal ladina amanu, kutiba alaykum us siyamu, ama kutiba ala ladina min kablikum la allakum tattakum. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying, O oh, you who believe, fasting is prescribed for you as it is it was prescribed for those before you in order that you attain taqwa. So fasting is actually mean is to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to be away from those things which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala dislike. This is the main reason behind fasting. May Allah give us tawfiq to understand and practice. <laughs>